What is going on, guys? This is Shadow. Ghost. Demon. Jess. From Scully Gaming. We're here to bring you the first four-player co-op. Teenage Mutant Motherfucking Ninja Turtles. Yes, that's what the thing is actually called. There is no censorship in our channel. So, we're bringing you this 25-minute co-op commentary. You know, shooting the shit like we said we would do in our other videos. Except no cutscenes. Cutscenes are like, what, a quarter of a second? Yep. If you can't read, you're fucked. Well, that's how arcade games were back in the day. That was like the new, like meta for like cutscene for games. You're just, you know, reading yep. and shit. You know, you just read stuff, and that was the cutscene for like two seconds. So, dude, most of those didn't even have cutscenes. It was just like, eat, give me the fucking quarters. That was a. I remember I dumped more money into the Turtles, X Men, and the Simpsons than probably anything. Probably Mortal Kombat. But those games, you really didn't care about the cutscene. You just wanted to play and kick ass. I was so great about them. That is true. But see, the problem with Demon and Jess is they've probably never been to a fucking arcade, so... No, I have been to an arcade, but I never played arcade games. Oh, okay. The racing okay. Ones and maybe like that Me, hockey thing. That means she I means she's went to Guptles. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no. Guptles had the Simpsons no. arcade. They did great. have the Simpsons. They still do. Do they? Yeah, they still do. So you guys don't know, Guptles, where we live, is like a fucking roller disco, but for teenagers or some shit. Secrets. Secrets. No, Double water cannons. <laughs> oh, God. Your Fuck that place. If you're a teen going there, you have issues. No shit. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're an adult going there, you should get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> it's a place for pedophiles. <laughs> so, getting back to our old school nostalgia, you know, we've all been to at least arcades, except for Demon, who's way too young to even know what an arcade is. That was an arcade. Exactly. So, other... Well, no, you've been to Great Escape, right? Yeah, I have Great been. Escape has, like, the same type of things. It's just more... Smaller and more... You got tickets and shit. Yeah. You know? You know, that's been popular nowadays. Like, the ticket games. See, I like days. the crane game. I rock at the fucking crane game. That is my thing. We used to play that at the bowling alley when I was a kid. I used to fucking come home with tons of stuffed animals. My dad was fucking pissed <laughs> every time I came home with something. It was awesome. <laughs> also, too, with uh, these games, which is cool, is you see, not cool, what sucks is that they kind of faded out and probably about in the, what, mid-90s? Up here. Up if you here. go down south, they're fucking everywhere. There's arcade games... On like where the hell I think it's Indiana or some redneck fucking state like that <laughs> that has like a shit ton of arcade games. Well, apparently the South know how to please kids. Yeah, more ways than one. My bad. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> got your tongue there, demon. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> sounds good. Kind of sound. Yeah. So getting back to the turtles, I mean, this is a game I loved. I hated the first one for Nintendo. That one was hard one as where, shit. The one where you could be like each turtle only one time. Yeah, until you died. Right. You had four that, chances. That's it. But you, you know, actually, you could rescue them later on in a building or something. I never got past the water part where you had to fucking defuse the bombs. Oh, and like those seaweed electrical crap, yeah. whatever. So, yeah, that was hard. That was definitely hard. Then they came out. Actually, that came out in the night. That was the first Turtles Turtle arcade game. game. Yeah. For the Nintendo. That was actually in '89. I think yeah. so. Yeah, I was like four. I have it. <laughs> and then you got uh, Turtles in Time, which was one Good. of my favorites. I mean, that, that game was just badass in general. But I also like, my offshoot is Battletoads. Battle like, huh? Everybody says Battletoads copies Turtles, but I fucking love Battletoads. It's just so much fun. You know, I think people only play like the first two stages, maybe the third stage, and everybody else said like, fuck this game, because it was just way too Well, hard. people didn't know what they were, but if you actually read the old like storyline, they were actually like sucked into like a computer. Like that's all computer generated. The real people outside the computer. Oh, okay. And they got sucked in and became the to the toads. And that's oh. why they got to fight the Dark Queen. It was like I think a computer game that they got dragged into. Really? Yeah, and it like that's... developed its own. It was a pretty fucking cool idea. I that, mean, that's actually kind of cool. I never knew that. And then you got Battle Toads and Double Dragons, which easily the best game ever made. I have it for Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Genesis, Game Boy, I think Game Gear. <laughs> and every fucking console it's different. So I mean, it's a great game. 
I suggest anybody playing it if you want to get your ass beat. Oh, yeah, definitely. It's one of those games. Or if you want to lose friends. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> because you know, what happens, what made those games so hard, is if one of you died while you're, playing cooperative, you're both, dead. you're both dead. So it made the game hard. So technically speaking, the game was actually meant for one player. Yeah, no shit. But, uh, yeah, any, like, 80s video game was like that. I mean, kids today wouldn't survive five minutes playing 80s Mega games. Mega Man, no. Mega Man, Contra, Castlevania, Ghost and Goblins. I mean, Ghost and Goblin was a pain because I love that game though. Wait, don't you like beat it once and you got beat it again? Yep. Or it was like an that? illusion, and you got to play through it all over again. The one good thing is there's no continues. Right. Whatever you, whatever last level you were in, you can just keep going. I mean, that was cool. So it wasn't like you had three lives and you had to start back from the beginning. Right. Uh, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, Shadow, what is your favorite turtle? I'll just tell the folks out there what who's your favorite turtle. Oh, Raphael, without a doubt. Yeah. He's the he's the hothead, you know, likes to get in fights, so I can relate to that. Pretty fucking good. What about you, Ghost? I was like Michelangelo, because he had nunchucks and he loved pizza. And you guys have the same IQ? Yes, you have the same <laughs> IQ. You know, that pool nation, you know? Swimming with pool with the nations. All right, what about you, Demon? <laughs> I would probably have to go with Ghost. Mikey's hilarious, so... Definitely. Jess? Um, I think whichever one with the orange bandana, but I'm pretty sure it's all of them. No. I don't really know. Orange is Mike. Yeah. Orange yeah. is Mike. So three yeah. like Mike, one likes Raph, nobody likes Leonardo or Donatello. Yeah. Leonardo, well, Leonardo's an asshole. He's a kiss ass. Yeah. Like, yeah. His, if he had a nose, it'd be brown. It's so far up Splinter's asshole. <laughs> Can you tell him what garbage he ate that day? And none of us like uh, Don Tell because we don't have I don't have the IQ for it. So. But Shredder was like my first villain I actually liked. Especially in the cartoon. Like Shredder I thought was badass. Like I had more toys of Shredder, Bebop, and Rocksteady than I did of the Turtles. Uh, yeah. Don't you still have the action figures? Oh yeah. I still have some of those still sealed in the packages. Which is awesome. Yeah. Oh yeah, my geekdom kicks in for that. <laughs> what about what about Casey Jones and the Turtles? What do you think of Casey Jones? The old school turtle's great. The new one, he was like a fucking metrosexual he's like the pretty boy like you never saw his face in the original cartoon right he always had the hockey mask even in the comic book mm -hmm. for the brief time he was around he always had the mask on you never saw his face you know i mean that was awesome same thing with slash slash was always my favorite too because he's the anti-turtle right yeah. you know from dimension x he hated pizza and he hated the turtles but he was so fucking badass looking Definitely a different character. Probably the hardest one to fight in the games. <laughs> right. Which, well, that was what, what game? In time? Turtles in time? Yeah. I think he fought him in, like, Dinosaur Time or some shit yeah, like that. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been a while since I played that game. I think I have it. I have Takes Manhattan, I think it's called, on the Nintendo. Mm -hmm. But that's a great game, too. So what about the live-action movie? I think we should talk about some of the Which turtles. one? Let's talk about the first one. Let's go in order. It doesn't have to be. I love the first one. First one's great. Dude, the first one's got Sam Rockwell in it. Sam Rockwell? Who, who, what? <laughs> yeah, from Iron Man 2, like yeah. you probably know him from. Yeah. Oh, okay. The guy that played Max, I think his name was in that. He was the one that built the machines with Ivan. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. he was in it. He was the guy that actually helped the, the one kid save Splinter. Oh, okay. Yeah, it was a little dirt stash. <laughs> dirt stash. Oh, him? They had yeah. an arcade oh. in that movie, too. Like, they did. The hungout, the, where yep. all the ninjas were. Yeah. So, yeah, dude, that was Sam Rockwell. <laughs> I watched it with my daughter not too long ago. I'm like, that's fucking Sam Rockwell. <laughs> it was awesome. I loved the first one, though. I mean, you know what's good that about was probably Corey Feldman's best movie when he was an adult. Because, like, he went fucking crazy. You know what's good about the first one? Even though they were, like, in costumes for the turtles. I mean, the guys knew martial arts, actually, when they did Well, the guy that did, I want to say Raphael, was the only one that voiced the character and played in the suit. Oh, really? So he learned all his moves for that movie. Wow. He wanted to get immersed in his character. I'm almost positive it was Raphael. But, like, it was awesome, because it's like, that's the only guy. I mean, Corey Feldman, you don't see running around in a fucking Donatello suit. <laughs> right. I mean, come on, he can barely run around in Lost Boys 2 and 3. <laughs> <laughs> fucking guy is so winded, because he's all fucked up on I don't know what. Jesus and probably cocaine. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I thought it was great. The guy that they got to play Shredder in both those movies, I think it was the same guy, was Actually, awesome. Actually, the second movie, at the end, when just Shredder came back, Super Shredder. Shredder, it was Kevin Nash. Really? Yes. I did wow. not know that. Yep, it was Kevin Nash. I can see movie. that, though. Kevin yeah. Nash is a big a motherfucker. Big yeah, but I mean the guy that played him, like, right. 
pre steroid shredder. Pre shredder. Pre Kevin Nash. But even the guy that did uh, Splinter's voice was awesome. Like that, they nailed that voice in the movie. Mm -hmm. I only wish he had that in the cartoon. Because mm. in the cartoon, he just had a regular voice. You know, I was like, what the fuck? Right. Yeah, I kind of like the background that Splinter had, like when he was in like Japan or whatever. What? Shredder was from Japan. Yeah. Shredder works. Yeah. yeah and, and Splinter was his I master's think. rat, and then he Shredder killed his master and yeah, was his master. His master. Yeah. yeah. Oh, how the fuck I yeah. remember that. Well, that was like what? That was in the live version, wasn't it? That was in the first movie. Hold on. Yeah, first. Movie. Okay, we're still recording. Okay, I was worried there for a second. We're still going, so yeah. But um, the second movie, I like the whole ooze where they brought in Toka and Razor. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yep. That was very TGRI. Where they kept calling Shredder fucking Mama. That was funny. And he had V-Ice. Yep. <laughs> Pre-fucking hardcore juggalo juggler, whatever the fuck he is now. I mean, I still wouldn't fuck with the guy. I mean, he'd probably whoop machine. your ass. You fucking make fun of him because of his name, he will beat your ass, man. <laughs> guy's probably got more assault charges than fucking Bobby Brown. <laughs> you know? Can you stop coughing in the mic, you asshole. I'm sorry. Get <laughs> the throat. cum out of your throat and fucking talk. And I'll speak up a little bit there, buddy. I don't really want to talk about the third uh, Yeah, we don't talk about that. No shit. That movie sucked. Casey Jones was not even in the second one. Nope. Then they bring him back to the third one, and he's just a babysitter. Yep. If I wanted to watch some fucking half-ugly bitch babysit people, I'd watch Adventures in Babysitting. <laughs> so at least they had a guy that looked like Thor in that. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on. <laughs> All right, so what about the new cartoon? The one that was on Channel 15 for us, which is the CW. Yep. If you're from the New York yeah. area. That one I kind of liked. That was more Demon's Time. Yeah, yes. I didn't really... But they had a movie. It was like a short thing I actually own. It's called Turtles Forever. And they actually brought in the 80s Turtles that we grew up with. And then they actually brought in the comic book versions. Oh, that's actually about pretty white. fucking I awesome. Black and white. Yeah. But then, now you got the one on Nickelodeon. That which, shit. It looks horrible. So, Demon, why don't you tell us a little about the Turtles from, you know, your era. Um, that you know of. Era Turtles. Yeah, Era Turtles. <laughs> <laughs> I pretty much remember that they brought in new guys that kind of... No, they didn't bring in guys. They brought in my guys and fucked them up. They well, had to make Baxter Stockman black because of... Uh, which was bullshit. I mean, come on. There's, there was black people on the 80s version. I mean, I don't see the problem. It's the same thing when they made Kingpin black and fucking uh, Daredevil. Gosh. And I'm fine with it. Michael Clark Duncan's an awesome actor. Well, was an awesome actor. But... It's just the fact that, I mean, the character was written one way. You wouldn't take Blade and fucking give it to, like, fucking Ryan Gosling, you know? Right. <laughs> like, <laughs> but if they did that, you know how much hate people would get for that? But yet, you know, people throw the whole racism, like, why can't a black guy play it? I'm fine with that. You want to make a fucking movie where Batman's black? I'll fucking watch it. <laughs> He'll probably be wearing a white suit, but I'll watch it. <laughs> you know, that brings me to another topic about stuff like people, like... When they do a movie off of a game, and you're like... Uh, you bull fucking yeah. destroyed video game movies. <laughs> well, uh. you know, I don't mind it. I always think if I go see a movie, I don't expect it to be like the freaking game because it's Hollywood. It's their own It's got to be at least somewhat like the game. Like that Ubisoft actually got in the works to make Assassin's Creed. Okay. Yes. But... They told, I think, Sony, I want to say it was Sony, they wanted full rights on casting, um, the writing for it, and the, like, last fucking, I don't even know what the word I'm looking for is. Pretty much, they get all the say, just to make sure it doesn't turn into Prince of Persia, mm -hmm. Doom, oh. fucking Postal, <laughs> Far Cry, I mean, I could just go on and on. I mean, there are some video game movies that I like, like Judge Dredd. Which was a comic book, also a video game, was awesome. But, like, I. Some like, of them are just shit. You're like, what dread do you like better? Do you I like both dreads. I mean, you got Stallone, Stallone which any movie he's yeah. in is awesome. Well, as long as you don't watch the Italian Stallion, I don't, <laughs> oh. I don't recommend that. <laughs> Unless you want to see Stallone in a whole new light and a few poses. Oh, you don't want to see that? That no. was so great. But, uh, well, you're Italian, so... <laughs> I don't need to see other fucking Italians, though. Ew. But, uh... Yeah, the new Dread was awesome. 
the guy that played him, I can't think of his name right now. Is he played, He's a really underrated actor. Yes, he, he is play, really act, good. He was in Doom. He was. The, he was in Red too. Yes. He was the guy that helped him at the end. Oh, that yeah. got his ass beat oh, by yeah. Bruce Willis. <laughs> Red is an awesome movie. Second one comes seen out. It, you need to go see it. Second one's coming out this year. Yeah. Which I can't looks wait for phenomenal. it. Phenomenal. But um, yeah. I mean, getting back to our topic. I mean, any video game movie itself is just. Eh, I'm not excited about him anymore. You know what? I really am not. I think they did an all right job. I'm just saying. I like with the Resident Evil uh, movie part two with the. City. I like. I see. My thing was I like two, and four were like my favorites. I think every other movie it was good. I mean, the last one was good if you understood it. You had right. to like really. Same thing with Silent Hill movies. People don't like them because they're based off the video game. I enjoyed both of them, but I don't really like the games. Mm. I don't know if that's just a trade-off. It could be, you know, yeah. to each his own, basically. So. Are we still recording? Or? Okay, yeah, it's okay. just slowing down a little bit because we're at 16 minutes. <laughs> but um, <laughs> well, they did like gate like movies into games, like they did saw. Make, yeah, yeah, it depends so, on the movie. Yeah. Like, I, we were actually talking about that about Defiance. Mm -hmm. Defiance is a great MMO for TV, and I actually started watching Falling Skies, which is pretty much like The Walking Dead with aliens, okay. which I think would be an awesome video game because you could do a huge MMO where you have to form a resistance with other people you don't know, yeah. and you have to learn to trust those people at a day to day when you play. That would be an awesome game, you know. Even Walking Dead, if you did it right, could be a huge MMO game. Oh, it could be. A that'd be huge awesome. That'd be awesome. Game. That'd be a good uh, money generator too. But the MMO problem game. is, people just put out quick games like Call of Duty comes out every year. Assassin's Creed's coming out every year, which I'm fine with for now. The character looks like Evan Stone. The phone yeah. star. <laughs> did a review and it just said like his facial features like Evan Stone. <laughs> Probably was. <laughs> Probably. But like. You know, Call of Duty, Assassin's Creed, Battlefield is going to be a new game coming out every year. It's just, when are people going to learn that it's just going to be monotonous? I mean, Call of Duty's graphics do not look to me like they've changed that much. I mean, the gameplay looks exactly the same. You have to pay $20 for a map pack, which you ask me is ridiculous. You're spending more money after you buy the game, which is, okay. even with the season pass. Like, you know what they do is a buddy at my job was saying this, and he's right. He goes... They put out a new Call of Duty game. It's pretty much the same game, same graphic. Maybe different little, people buy it. Different storyline, but when they do multiplayer, because most people buy it for the multiplayer or zombies, and they, yeah, or zombies. I would they play it if they made a Call of Duty zombies, and the whole game was based around that. I would play it because it's at least something fucking different. I don't give a shit about getting a gold-plated, diamond-encrusted fucking riot shield. <laughs> Who the fuck cares what the fucking thing looks like? It's a gun. <laughs> right. Well, back to I don't saying. care if my gun fucking shoots fart bombs out of it. <laughs> back to what I was saying. So when they release that new Call of Duty and they do the multiplayer, which a lot of people play the multiplayer, a lot of people rage, whatever. So they, oh, we're gonna put out map packs, but it's the same map pack from the previous Call of Duty. Yeah. So How many fucking paying? times has Nuketown been on a goddamn Call of Duty? I don't understand what Modern Warfare. Nuketown came or, in Modern Warfare, I think. Black Ops, and then me like. Black um, Ops 2. Black Ops 2, like Nuketown 2035 or something yeah, like that. Yeah, and it's like in zombies as well, you can do it too. Yeah, it's, just, it's, it's the same who thing. Who the fuck cares? I mean, Halo remastered. did that, but Halo gave away some of the old for map free. packs for free. But you know, then you get the whole people, oh, Call of Duty, Halo, Wars. How the fuck do you compare those two? You One's can't. you're killing really aliens, different. and one you're killing dipshits that think they're army people. I mean, who the fuck cares? Each game has their ups and downs. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Call, Halo took Call of Duty's fucking following the person that killed you. The fucking Call of Duty stole the theater mode from Halo. Who the fuck cares? Everybody's going to steal from somebody else. That's you know, all it is. I would make a recommendation if you're, like, want to get into uh, FPS, first-person shooters, I would recommend Halo. Now people are like, oh, no, you should go to Call of Duty. It's realistic. The reason why I say you That's should go That's why I never to... played SOCOM. Yeah. No, the reason why you should do Halo is to get a, cause there's more. It's more forgiving. Yeah. You got a shield. You can take more hits. And in Call of Duty, you walk like two feet, get shot once, and die. Yep. At least in Halo, you can make a little bit of mistakes until you get better and see how you do with aiming. And pretty much a lot of the guns are almost the same, but not really. But at least you get a handle on what if a you first wanna, person. If you want to play a first person shooter that's realistic, I say play Battlefield. Right. Yes. Battlefield is the most realistic like 
war-based game out there. Battlefield Call of Duty, you're just running around with a fucking ballistic knife and throwing tomahawks. I could, Who the fuck cares? If you want to play a real war game, play Battlefield. Call if you want to play something that'll just make your YouTube money, play Call of Duty. And if you want to just have fun, play Halo. That's all it is. Each yeah. game has their ups and downs. But if you want to get into a first person shooter, if you're just starting out, I, I me personally, I recommend it. Halo. I say play Halo, but play it single player with a buddy through co-op or campaign first. Right. Learn everything you can by playing it like on Legendary, because you're gonna play. You play that game on Legendary, it's like playing other people. Exactly. Yes. You know. But at least the AI is pretty smart too, which yeah. is which is good nowadays with games coming out. Usually the AI sucks. You know. But that was my thing. I started playing multiplayer on PS2. First game I played was SOCOM, which I hated. Okay. I fucking hated it. One shot, you're done. Then I moved to Project Snowblind, which to this day is still one of my favorite online video games ever. And I really hope they bring it back. <laughs> I used to play in tournaments for that game. That's how in-depth that game was. So, Yeah, I mean, it's all about the industry. People play Call of Duty fucking forever, it seems like. And like I said, I loved it all the way up until Modern Warfare 2. Well, to Black Ops. I hated Black Ops from there up. I, I can't play them anymore. I really can't. Like, I am, I was a Call of Duty fan, and I, I can't get into it anymore. Or you should just pick up Modern Warfare 2, then, if you'd like that. Yeah, I, I'd rather people pick up World it. at War. Yeah, I people, loved World at War. That was my still favorite. Act, the servers are still up. I know. It's but still I still like World at War the best. I mean, that that was just so much fun. I always liked the old, like, World War Two era Kyvan yeah. games, though. So. Is that the same thing? Not like, oh... Freaking snipers and rocket launchers, or yeah, it was just camping. flamethrowers and fucking you know, really old yeah. ass guns. <laughs> so, what do you think about games like new games compared to old games? Like you know, we we talking about turtles. We're doing turtles as people are seeing right now. I'd rather play like, an old game because you know what? You get the game, you get the glitches, you learn with the glitches. These games. You get the game like Borderlands, you learn like the bank glitch or the evil smasher glitch, and they fucking take it away from you. You know what? I paid for the game. Plus, I don't like going into a lobby. I get killed because of lag, and then I get banned from a fucking video game I paid for. Because yeah. I got booted, or I got team killed, and I still got booted. I think it's bullshit. If I pay for a video game, I should be able to play it however the fuck I want. That's my game once I give that guy that $60. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know? I don't want to sit there and fucking have somebody censor everything I play. And I mentioned the wait time when you get banned too. If you get oh my god, Halo was ridiculous. First it was like five minutes, then an hour, then a fucking week. It's like, why? You booted me out of the game. Why do I fucking have to suffer? You know, a lot of times people don't mean to like kill other people. Sometimes they just walk in front of a bullet by accident. There, yeah. people are not very forgiving online. Unless they you can purposely, like, they stuck you with a plasma grenade, or in Call of Duty, they purposely kept on knifing you, yeah. you know, and whatnot. People need to learn, I think, personally, to be a little bit more forgiving, you know, and, but I totally agree with you, Shadow. It's, when you buy that game, you should be able to play it. And I can understand some people's point of view of, hey, you know what, this person is purposely doing this, whatever, purposely, you should be able to kick them, because, you know, I want to play, I want to win yeah. this match. But then again, everybody pays sixty bucks for it, so you should be able to play whatever you want. All right. Well, we got like under two minutes left, so we're gonna go around and just tell you what game we're looking forward to this year. Any ghost, you want to start? What game are you looking forward to? Uh, I was have to say I'm looking forward to Saints Row Four. Yep. I really didn't, haven't played Saints Row, but the fact that it has superpowers in this one, and I saw the trailer. It looks really, really cool. Yeah. So that comes out in August. August. So I'm pretty pumped for that. Hopefully yep. it'll be cool. So Demon. I am definitely looking forward to Payday 2. Payday I just, 2 is like, awesome. I just like the whole thing where you can like rob banks, jewelry stores, coke dealers. That's what I'm looking forward to. Jess. I am looking forward to Plants vs. Zombies 2. <laughs> yeah, I knew you could say that. <laughs> However, I have to get an iPhone or an Android or a tablet or something like that so I can play it. But I am so totally looking forward to so it. So like our YouTube page so we can get her money for that. <laughs> <laughs> and myself, I am looking forward to either Saints Row. Actually, Assassin's Creed 4 looks pretty badass too. 
but Saints Row 4, Payday, and definitely GTA 5. Oh, actually, you know what? No, my top one's going to be Watch Dogs. Watch, Watch Dogs looks phenomenal, and I really can't wait to play it. I mean, it looks like GTA on steroids, so... You know, I mean, this is about the end of the video, so other than this, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Rate, comment, subscribe. Tell us if you liked the video, you didn't. We don't give a shit. Like I tell you every video. So I'm Shadow. Ghost. Demon. Jess. From Scully Gaming. Peace.